All right, folks, um, I want to go over with you uh, some instructions on uh, how you're going to be utilizing some of the Google Apps uh, this semester in some of the uh, assignments we're going to work on. Uh, so some of the assignments that you're going to work on, uh, either in the AGS 216 class or if you're enrolled in the AGS 215 class, are going to involve the use of some Google Apps. Uh, you're going to have to in some cases take a look at either Google Docs or Google Sheets um, or Google Slides and I wanted to, to talk a little bit about how to access those and then how to save those because in some cases you're going to need to print them or in some cases you're going to need to to make changes or add things to them and so I just wanted to record a quick video on um, how to handle some of those things. Um, so right now I'm, I'm loaded into uh, one of the AGS 216 courses and if I click on modules uh, in this course, uh, we're going to see an assignment uh, in this course that has one of these uh, Google Docs uh, in it. And we're going to go ahead and click on it so we can show you how to, to handle uh, utilizing these documents. So in this uh, AJS 216 course, um, in module uh, 5, there is an assignment um, called Drug Categories and Schedules Assignment. I'm going to click on the assignment and if we look in the instructions section of the assignment we're going to see that there's an assignment worksheet that you actually have to fill out. Uh, that worksheet uh, actually comes in the form of a Google Sheet. Now at the beginning of the semester uh, one of the assignments you had was to set up your Google Apps account. It's important that whenever you're opening one of these Google Docs or Google Sheets or Google Slides that you're actually logged in uh, with your Maricopa ID uh, or your Maricopa Google Apps account. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to have the permissions needed to be able to actually view uh, the worksheet or the slides um, or the Google Doc. And so it's important that you actually log into your Google Apps uh, account. So I've opened just Google here and to show you how to open your Google Apps account uh, and whenever you open Google so www.google.com uh, the, the page that opens up if you look on the right hand side we're going to see here on the right hand side there's a, a kind of a grid that kind of looks like maybe the face of a Rubik's Cube. Uh, if you go ahead and click on that uh, you're going to want to log into your Google Drive. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Google Drive and if I click on that, it's going to ask me to, to log in. Now I have a number of different Google accounts. I'm actually going to log in using um, one of my daughter's accounts because she is a Phoenix College student, so you can see what it looks like. Um, if you haven't already, let me go back actually. If you've never actually uh, added uh, or logged into your Google account, then you're going to click on Add Account. If you've done it before, you're likely to see your account in this list here. I'm going to go ahead and click Add Account. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in, or rather, um, right now, the email address for uh, my daughter's um, Gmail account that's associated with the school actually comes up. So what you'd do is you would type in your MEID at maricopa.edu, which is your Gmail account, and then click Next. It's going to prompt you to enter your password. Um, so this screen is going to come up, which is going to uh, prompt you to enter your MEID and your password. And once you've done that, you're going to click log in and then you're going to be logged into your Maricopa Google Apps account. Um, this in particular is our Google Drive that's going to open up here. If I wanted to I could click uh, over here on the right and I could open up my Gmail, my Maricopa Gmail or I could open up a calendar or Google Sheets or Google Slides. But it is important that you're logged in to your Google um, apps account um, before you open up one of these uh, documents. I'm going to go back now to Canvas and then we're going to see that there is this assignment worksheet. I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and then I want to open this link which is to a, a Google uh, Sheet um, or a Google app. So I'm going to click on that and then uh, that's going to open up in a new tab here so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And so for this particular assignment, students are going to be filling out uh, this Google Sheet. Uh, and so as we've clicked on that link, and as it opens up, 
One of the things you're going to notice here, though, is for this particular Google Sheet, um, this person or only has the ability to view the document. But for this particular assignment, um, to f complete this assignment, you'd actually have to fill out uh, the, the worksheet. So you'd have to actually type things in here. Uh, but while you're in a view-only format, you can't actually do that. So what you need to do then is you actually need to make a copy of this Google Worksheet and save that to your Google Drive and then edit that copy. Uh, so I want to show you how to do that. So once you've opened the link, and again, we did that by clicking the link here in the assignment. Once we've done that, we've opened up the, the link to the Google Sheet. But again, right now, you only have access to view it. And the reason that I only give you access to view it is if I gave you access to edit it, and if you made edits to this Google Sheet, uh, your edits would show up on everybody else's assignment. And we don't want your answers to show up on everyone else's assignment. So right now, you only have view only uh, access. But what you can do is if you go over here to File and you click on File, you can click on where it says make a copy. So I'm going to click make a copy. All right. And notice it's going to save it to my drive within my Google Drive. I'm going to hit OK. All right. And now it's going to open up my copy of the drug categories and schedules assignment worksheet. Now the good thing about this is then now since this is my copy of it, as soon as it finishes loading here, I can actually uh, make changes and edit this document. Because I'm not editing the original, I'm editing my copy of the document. So I can go ahead and uh, make a changes to it if I want to type something in here, you know, or I want to type something in here, and then it's going to save my changes. In fact, I might even want to change the name of the document if I wanted to. Um, so anyway, now I have my copy of it. Now, if we go back to our Google Drive. Notice that the copy now shows up in the Google Drive. It wasn't there before, but now the copy that we made shows up on our Google Drive. And notice that the changes that we made are now there. And that copy will remain in your drive. Uh, so if ever you want to access it to make changes, you can click on it from your drive. It'll load. And you can make uh, changes. And then to submit the assignment, you would simply fill out the Google Sheet. And then you would copy the URL for this Google Sheet and then send it to me as your instructor so I could view the work that you had done. So uh, you'd need to do this uh, for a few different assignments in the AGS 216 class. If you're in the AGS 215 class, you'd need to do the same thing. In fact, uh, if I go back to Canvas here, I'm going to go ahead and open up a different course. So I'll open up the 215 course, which is the physical evidence course that some of you are in as well. And if I click modules in that course, if we find, uh, I'm find an assignment here that has something similar. So if we scan down a little bit. Trying to find a good one that'll be good here. Okay, so here's an example. Uh, in module six of the AGS 215 course, uh, there is an assignment uh, titled uh, US Currency Security Features Exercise. I'm going to click on that. Now remember, uh, going back up here, I'm still logged into my, my Google Apps account with the school. Uh, we can see in the assignment instructions in this 215 class that there's an assignment that requires me to access a Google Doc. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and open it up. So this time, uh, what we have is, uh, as soon as it opens, a Google Doc as opposed to a Google Sheet. Again, once it opens up, uh, you can uh, you'll see that again you only have view only access right now but the assignment actually requires me 
to uh, to do some notation on this document. So in order for me to do any sort of notation on this document, again, I'm going to have to to make a copy of the document uh, that I can then make notations on. So again, to do that, I would go to File, and again, I would make a copy, and I would hit OK so that it saves it. And so now we see now I have my own copy of that assignment. How it says copy of digital images of US currency so that I could make changes on it. And again, if we go back to our Google Drive now, we can see that there's now a copy of that document there. So it's important that you understand that uh, when you when you see the links for the Google Docs and the Google Sheets and the Google Slides, that you uh, only have view only access to them, but you can copy them and then save them on your Google Drive and then make changes that way. So if you have any questions on how to do this, uh, please email me or send me a Canvas message, or you can call me on my office phone number. Uh, so anyway, that's how uh, you access some of the different documents for uh, some of our classes.